back here at CBS 12 News at 9. You can watch some of the world's best musicians play in our own backyard at the Palm Beach Symphony. But a big part of what the symphony does is spread the love of music and get instruments into the hands of kids all over South Florida. And joining us this morning is the CEO of the Palm Beach Symphony, David McClymont. David, always good to see you. Matt, likewise. Thank <laughs> you for having me. You know, David, CBS 12 has helped with your Play It Forward campaigns before. Can you explain to everyone watching how that helps kids get you know, instruments in their hands? Absolutely. So a big part of our educational outreach is putting instruments into the hands of students. And thanks to your partnership and the Play It Forward campaign that we did last year, we put 75 instruments into the hands of Palm Beach County students, mostly Title I students. Mm -hmm. This year alone, thanks to that, we've built on that and we've donated 185 instruments this year alone to wow. students in Palm Beach County. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, a couple weeks ago, David, I was out there at the Swings for Strings golf tournament uh, that you had in Wellington. You unveiled the new Todd Barron Instrument Donation Fund. Uh, you and I are good friends uh, with Todd. He passed away in January after a, a long fight with cancer. Uh, and he was certainly uh, a huge friend of the symphony. Can you, so can you explain uh, what this fund is and why you, you felt it was important to name it. Absolutely. So in 2015, Todd approached me and said, how can I help you? I had just started the symphony in 2014. He said, I want to get involved. What can I do? I said, well, I want to start a young friends group. Would you chair it? He said, yes. And the rest was sort of history. He went out and built this whole entire Young Friends Committee, this Young Friends Group. We then tasked the Young Friends Committee with being ambassadors to go out and help support the educational outreach, which included instrument donations. Yeah. So we really wanted to honor him for all the great work that he did for us and many other arts organizations in Palm Beach County by you know, creating a legacy, if you will, the Todd Barron Instrument Donation Fund. Part of why we did it is that thanks to our partnership with you and all the instruments we received, we actually received more instruments than we had funds to repair them. Oh, wow. So we realized that it was very important that we put together a fund to receive donations to repair the instruments that were coming to us that just needed some very small repairs. And that was why we created the Todd Barron Instrument Donation Fund. What's really exciting is that night at the golf tournament where you were, we raised $16,000 oh, for fantastic. that new fund. It's great to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously the symphony is an important part of the music culture in Palm Beach County, but why do you feel it's so important to, to help these kids in our area in this way? Well, if you think about giving them an opportunity, and it's not that every single student that we give an instrument to is going to go on to perform in the Palm Beach Symphony or any other orchestra. It's about giving them the tools to be successful. It's teaching them discipline. It's teaching them dedication, teaching them to work with a group among the ensemble that they're working with. And those are life skills that can benefit us for years to come. You know, I've been in uh, some of the classrooms where these kids have some of these donated instruments that they play with, and they're so grateful because for a lot of them, you know, their families can't afford, you know, an instrument. And it's just so wonderful to see them have the opportunity to be able to play, which they w otherwise wouldn't get. Absolutely. Well, we had a student at Dreyfus about three or four years ago that was playing on a rented violin mm -hmm. and then auditioned for the Lisa Bruna B Major Award, which is a program we put together for high-level instruments for wow. students that are going away to university. So <laughs> Valentina Pellucci, who was at Dreyfus School of the Arts, goes and auditions for six universities, Curtis Peabody, New England Conservatory, Juilliard, University of Miami gets into all six. And then when we met with her, we said, congratulations, this is amazing. She said, I could not have done it without that violin. Now, whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. It was her paradigm of giving her the confidence to go perform. And now she's actually at Juilliard taking a master's on conducting. That's incredible. Phenomenal. All right, so David, anyone who's watching right now, how can they help? So they can help by supporting us in any way. Come okay. to a concert, attend a concert, become a member, attend any of our social, um, social events, uh, attend the golf tournament. <laughs> you know, there's a wide variety of ways that they could do it, and there's more information on our website as to how they can do that. Fantastic. Okay. David McClamont from Palm Symphony. Matt, thank hey, you. So thank good you. to see you. Likewise. <laughs>